Right, uh, for this video, we'll be working on um, Summer 2015, Question Paper 3, Variation 1. Okay, now we'll only be focusing on the um, HTML portion uh, because apparently, according to a lot of you, that this paper is quite difficult. Okay, so um, let's look at question number one. Create a new folder called j1531 underscore HTML. Okay, so that's actually very simple. Uh, j1531 underscore HTML. And for question number two, you're supposed to go to www.hothouse-design.co.uk slash mtb to download the files. Now, I've tried the link. Um, apparently, it doesn't work. Okay, so I already have the uh, downloaded folders here. Uh, sorry, downloaded um, compressed uh, folder here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it. And I will just transfer everything inside here. All right, into the folder. Okay, so if I open this folder right now, I will have um, all the files I need. Okay, so let's look at number three. Open the file j1531evidence.rtf. Make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. So I'm just going to open this. Okay, basically what it wants you to do is to uh, create um, either a header or footer with your name, center number, and candidate number. Okay. Right, so just gonna double click here, name, center number, candidate number. Okay. Then moving on, save this evidence document in your work area as J5 evidence followed by your candidate number. Right, so file, save as. I'm gonna save it on um, inside the folder I created previously on the desktop, which is here. So I'm just gonna call it J5 evidence followed by my um, candidate number okay word document okay let's look at number four create a web page called j1531 home.htm this web page must work in all browsers and will have a table structure as shown below each table cell is identified with a letter and all dimensions are in pixels okay so in order for you to create a web page, okay, um, it's very obvious that you need um, Expression Web. Okay, so this is going to open up Expression Web. Okay, now you need to save it as j1531home.htm, right? So file, save as. Now remember to save it back into the folder you just created, which would be in your student drive. Okay, so for me it will be on the desktop, this folder, and we're going to call it j1531home.htm. So just save as type web page, don't care, as long as you follow the exact file name uh, that is given to you in question number four. Okay, right now, so it needs to create a table. So go on to design, you don't really need to type anything here. Go on to design. Okay, um, go to table, insert table. Now, um, if you look at a question, right, notice that um, before any merge and all that, how many columns does the table have? Okay, just calculate um, the visible columns uh, you can see. Okay, so C, D, E, F, G, that's one column, and then H, I, J, K, L, that's another column, and then M is another column. So um, before any merging and all that, this table has three columns. Okay, rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven rows and three columns okay so um no style is being defined here okay so i'm just gonna press okay for now okay so um what you need to do first of all is to merge column uh, cell a all right which means uh, the first row highlight all right click modify merge okay this would be your a followed by your b Again, right click, modify, merge, and then your M, which is here. So right click, modify, merge some more. Okay, right now, um, each table cell is identified with a letter and all dimensions are pixels, right? Okay, so um, for cell A, okay, the measurement has to be 400 times 80. Okay, so um, I'm gonna select um, cell properties. 
okay and then width and height I'm just going to tick this and because it's in pixels right so width is 400 height is 80 all right there you go column B do the same thing uh, sorry cells cell B okay um, cell properties height width and height as well so 300 80 all right and then um, column C D E F and G I'm just going to highlight everything because all of them have the same properties so cell property width and height again this one is 100 100 right notice it shrinks right okay so after that I'm um, 200 and 100 so 200 and 100 cell properties 200 times 100 okay then after that for M it's 100 times 580 so cell properties 100 580 okay there you go Okay, um, in cell A, enter the text tourism in the Maldives. Okay, so just enter this, cell A, tourism in the Maldives. Set the style to H1, so I'm just going to highlight this. Click here, set it to H1. Okay, moving on, in cell B, enter the text edited by, followed by your name, center number, and candidate number. So edited by, Chong Han. MY422-6969 Okay, set this style as style um, H3 So we're just going to highlight this Okay, H3 Okay, so using the most appropriate image from J1531 underscore 1 dot JPG to underscore 8 Place in cell C the image of an island Okay, C The image of an island This looks like it Okay Right, just going to click OK because they didn't mention any alternate text or anything like that. Okay, an image of an island, then the Maldivian Hotel. Or, wow, this looks like one. Okay, moving on. E, the image of a boat. Image of a boat. F, the image of a clownfish. Clownfish, clownfish. Ah, Nemo. G, the image of a sunset. Sunset. Okay, oh my god. Okay, now make sure that each image placed in step 7 is 96 times 96 pixels. Okay, let's try that. So right click, go to picture properties, appearance, 96, 96, that's fine. This one looks like the same. Okay, so just move on to the third one. So right click, picture properties. So 96. Um, now, is if if you type 96 here and you see that it changes here so what we need to do is we need to change um, unlock the aspect ratio okay so let's do that again so 96 and 96 right notice it doesn't change there you go um, followed by this one looks like looks fine to me okay moving on with the um, sunset one right so right click picture properties appearance keep aspect ratio uncheck 96, eh, 96, 69 pula, <laughs> 96. All right, now, um, set all the text, eh, sorry. Um, number nine, in cell, H, enter the text, which island? So, which island? And then, hotels, transport, marine life, and then, Paradise found. It's gonna save this. Okay, set all this text as style H2. So I'm just gonna highlight everything here. Right? Need to do it one by one because they are actually in different cells, right? So heading two. Heading two. Heading two. Heading two. Heading to and heading to. 
Okay, place in cell M the image j1531fish.jpg. M. Fish. Ah, there you go. Just going to drag this in. Use the image of the island. Da 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 da. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. So number eleven. Uh, use the image of the island placed in step seven and the text which island to create hyperlinks to the page j one five three one island htm which will open in a new window called underscore choose island. Okay. So this one. So I'm going to right click. I am going to say hyperlink. Right. Because you're going to um, actually wrap a hyperlink around the image. So. Um, existing file or web page j1531 island I think it's here right there you go which will open in a new window called underscore choose island so target frame new window underscore choose island okay so moving on which island as well so this one will be a hyperlink as well okay so hyperlink Again, same file, j1531 island, target frame, a uh, new window called choose island. Okay, so make sure that each image has an appropriate alternate text att attribute. Uh, by. So right click, go to uh, picture properties, alternate text, well since it's an island, so I just type island. This one is a hotel. Transport Marine Life. Oh dear God. Paradise Found. Paradise Found. Okay, number 13, attach the style sheet j1531style.css to your web page, right? So attach new style, attach style sheet, browse. Um, it's on the desktop. The first one, right? Okay, notice that it changes a little bit. Yay. So save your web page, you're gonna save it. Okay, display the web page in your browser. So in your evidence document, replace the text image one with a screenshot of the browser window, right? So file, I'm just going to preview it in Chrome. Right, so um, basically what it wants you to do is to take a screen capture of this. Now in the event that you can't really see the whole page here, all right, you must be a little bit smart now, okay? So minimize the page a bit, okay? For those of you who do not know how to do it, hold out control and... Um, use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down okay so I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this okay for you guys it's print screen okay for me it will be a bit different okay, so I'm just gonna print screen and then it says um, replace the text image one right so image one okay, I'm just gonna paste the image here All right there you go okay number 15 um, in your evidence document, replace the text HTML1 here with the HTML source, okay? So HTML1 here, you need to replace it with the HTML source. So where do you get a HTML source, okay? This is your design, source is your code, okay? When it says replace, it means that you need to copy everything here. Right, I'm just going to copy it and paste it here, okay? Don't care about the spacing and all that. That's not really necessary, right? Okay, let's move on to number 16. Open the file j1531style2.css. This style sheet contains errors. It should define the following styles. Okay, so let's open the folder and let's look at j1531style2. Okay, so let's edit with expression web. Right, now here's the issue. Um, if you guys look at this, right, there are actually a lot of errors here. Okay, and Honestly speaking, if you want to modify this, it would be a little bit um, technical for you guys. So my recommendation would be to create new styles, all right, according to what the question needs. Okay. So well, you you end up with the same thing anyway. So what I'll do, okay, I'm just gonna remove everything here. 
All right? No, you know what? I'll just start typing here first. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new style. Um, first one, we're gonna work on your heading one, H1. Okay, so it says, um, oops, sorry, body first, right? Body, right? Background. Um, the image would be j1531bg.jpg. So j1531bg. There you go. All right, that's about it. Click OK. All right, you will see a new one created here. So moving on. Um, H1 this time, heading one. Color red, green, and blue, right? So color hashtag red is 8b, green is 0, and blue is 0. Okay, so font Helvetica or if not available, Arial or if not available, the browser's default sans serif font, right? So Helvetica Arial if not available, sans serif. Okay, um, italicized, so font style italic, um, 30 pixels high, so font size 30, and then align to the center, right? So up there you go. So text align, um, center, so C E N T R, right? Don't follow T R E. Okay, so once you're done, click OK. So you have this, okay, followed by again H2 color. So right now it starts with blue and then red and then green. Okay, now uh, as you guys know, your HTML color code starts with R and then G and then B. So all right, your uh, hexadecimal. Okay, so red first. Green, blue. Oops. Color, color. My bad. Okay. Um, font Helvetica. If not available, Arial again. And if not available, Sun Serif. 20 pixels high. Alignment center, right? Text align center. Same thing. Right? Um, moving on, H3, H3, all right, color, red, green, blue, again, it tries to confuse you, so hashtag, red, green, blue, okay, font, the browser's default, send serif font, so just serif, sorry, okay, 16 pixels high, and alignment to the left, so text align, left. Okay, so table, no visible table, borders of grid lines. Okay, so new style, this time table. All right, no visible borders. So um, border. So don't need to put anything. Nothing. Right, basically nothing. So we'll have an empty table here. Okay, now 17. Add your name, center number, and candidate number to the style sheet as a command, right? So, Han MY4226969. Right. So save this style sheet in your j1531 underscore html folder. Use the file name st followed by your candidate number. Okay, so I'm just going to save it. Save as. Okay, st followed by your candidate number 6969. Okay, last but not least, remember the previous ones. Okay, let's delete everything here. Okay, now 19, in your evidence document, replace the text style sheet here with a screenshot of your style sheet. Make sure that the file name and all the text are clearly visible. Okay, now instead of copying and pasting over, it needs a screenshot. Okay, so print screen again. Right. Style sheet here, instead of the text, it needs a screenshot. So just give them what they want. Right, there you go. Okay, um, number 20, attach your style sheet safe in step 18 to your web page so that it overwrites but does not replace the first style sheet. So what it means is you need to attach two style sheets to um, one HTML page. So just attach style sheet, 
This time, select the one you created previously. Okay, so there will be some changes here, um, especially to the background. Okay, so display the web page in your browser. So save it first, and then I'm going to preview in Chrome again. Right, there you go. Now this time it says, um, in your evidence document, replace the text image tool here with screenshots of the browser window. Okay, so just take a screenshot of this. Okay, notice that um, the... Um, background is actually tiling okay but ignore it because it didn't say no repeat and all that okay so I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this again this time I need to replace image 2 right now So in your evidence document, replace the text HTML2 here with a HTML source again. All right, so copy everything you have here, copy, and paste your HTML2 here. All right, don't care about the um, alignment and all that. All right, so um, we are done with the HTML uh, portion, but I'm going to move all the way until the end. Okay, so. Um, after the examination time on the HTML printouts, highlight the markup which shows your name, center number, and candidate number. So what you guys need to do is after you print out this document, right? Okay, you need to take your highlighters and you need to highlight um, the portion that has your name, center number, and candidate number. So I'm just going to use the um, text highlight color here, okay, to um, show you what you need to highlight, okay? So if you scroll down here, you will see that edited by your name, center number, and candidate number, right? Okay, so I'm just going to take the highlighter pen and um, highlight this. Okay, then the external style sheets are attached to the web page. Okay, how do you know that external style sheets are attached? Okay, see here? Okay, what you need to do is um, you need to highlight the entire thing. Okay, this shows that style sheets are actually attached. Okay, it's very easy to um, identify. There's a link href, okay, containing your CSS file. Then there's an rel equals to style sheet and then text or CSS. Okay, so do the same thing um, for your second one later. Okay, which is this one and this one. Okay, now uh, moving on, the width and height of the table cells. Okay width and height of the table cells okay cells yeah so it should be TD so width and height width and height All right you guys got a picture right I'm not gonna do everything Okay, the image you have resized. Okay, notice that um, previously you guys actually resized some of the images, right? Okay, um, so you need to look for those images right now. Okay, it's not... Um, so, uh, fish. So, fish. Oh, there you go. Um, not this one. Remember the 96, 96 and all that? Okay, so um, the width and height of the table. The image you have resized, sorry, my bad. So the image you have resized, okay, the image. And there's another one here, right? So notice that you need to highlight the beginning, which is um, signified by this... Uh, pointy bracket and the end okay you need to highlight the whole thing 
Okay. Um, 96, 96, okay, this one. And this one as well. And this one as well. Yep, that's about it. Okay, so um, the hyperlink from the island image that opens the web page j1531island.htm in a new window called Choose Island. Okay, so Choose Island, right? Remember this? So highlight the um, hyperlink. Okay, so hyperlink is represented by ahref. Okay, hyperlink reference. Okay, target choose island. This one. Okay, so the image also has a hyperlink. So what you need to do is you need to highlight this. And this one, the ending of it. Okay, as you guys can see, there, was, there will always be a starting and then there will always be an ending here. Okay, so, well, we're basically done with this paper, but, okay, but, um, one or two more things that I need to highlight, okay? Now, this is not inside the uh, question, not inside this paper, but it has come, uh, it has came out uh, in other papers as well, okay? So, the first thing is, now, if they ask you to print the source directly from expression web, what's going to happen? Okay, so you need to go to code, okay, file, print, and go to print preview first. Okay, I've shown this in a previous video, but I'm just going to show it again. All right, notice that when you print, right, you will see that your name, center number, and candidate number appears here. Now, this is because I've done um, the uh, setting in the header. If you don't, okay, you'll see the file name appearing here. So let's say I have two pages, right? You will notice that two pages have my name, center number, candidate number here. Okay, so how to do that? All right, so file, print, um, page setup, you need to change the header uh, and put in your name, center number, and candidate number. Okay, so when you go to file, print, uh, print preview, and click print, okay, what, what will come out is all your source code together with your name, center number, and candidate number um, at the top of every single page. Okay, so that's printing your HTML source or printing your source code or your source. Okay, now if it asks you to print the web page, what's going to happen is um, it will come out in a browser. Okay, and I will usually ask you to do a screenshot. Okay, so let's say it doesn't ask you to do the screenshot and you're supposed to print it from the browser. Okay, if you go to print, um, what's going to happen is Okay, um, it may be divided into two pages, but for this, okay, you're quite lucky because um, you can see your name, center number, and candidate number displayed here. Now, what happens if it's two pages? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it two pages. Okay, I'm just going to make it two pages. We're just going to save it and we're going to refresh it. Okay, then I'm going to print it again. Right, so right now it's two pages, but for the second page, um, I don't see your name, center number, and candidate number. Now, there is a way to cheat, okay? If you see untitled one here, this is actually the web page title, okay? Now, if this, um, if this scenario occurs or happens, okay, what you need to do is you need to scroll all the way up here, and can you see title, untitled here? Modify this so that it contains your name, center number, and candidate number. Okay, so when you refresh it, what's going to happen is you will notice that your name, center number, and candidate number appears here. So if you print it now, all right, you will notice your name, center number, and candidate number appear at the top of every single page. Okay? Right. Now, one last thing um, is how to align to the top of the cell. Okay, there's one year, I can't remember which paper, okay, um, one of uh, you guys actually asked me. Say, for example, the question says, oh, um, align the cell content of this cell um, to the top of the uh, to the top of the cell. Okay, right now it's actually in the center and on the left. Okay, so what's going to happen now is you need to right click on it, go to cell properties. Okay, and then um, you go to vertical alignment and select top. So what's going to happen when I press OK? You will notice that the which island jumps from the center to the top. All right, right. So that's it.